In this video, I'm going to quickly talk about a marked difference between the way components operate and the way services operate in the context of modules. We've looked at how components can be declared inside modules, in which case the component is available only to other components in the module. And you want to, be, you want to make it available outside the module, you need to mark it in the exports. You need to add the component in the exports. And then in any other module that needs it has to import it. And this is for all other modules inside the same application. You can have a component inside a module in the same app as another module, but then that component would not be available until these two rules satisfy. First, the owning module needs to export it, and then the module that's trying to use it needs to import the module, right? These two rules have to satisfy for a component to be used outside its module. But in the case of services, things work a little differently, and I'm gonna talk, cover the details uh, in this video. It's very important to know because it's a little bit strange until you get a hang of it. So let's take this example of a test service. The test service has been provided in the app module, right? So you have added it to the provider section in the app module. So it's no surprise that you can do dependency injection inside the app.component.ts. You can inject it and then it's available because this app.component is also a part of the app module. Now, there is another component called the view component in the same project, right? Now what happens if I were to use this dependency injection and get access to the test service inside the view component. Now the view module is not dependent on the app module at all, right? It's actually the other way around. The app module imports the view module, but the view module is kind of self-sufficient. It's not importing anything else. It has its own thing. It has one component that it both declares and exports. So can the view component access a service that's inside the app component? Well, we'll see. Now we have this private, and now I'm going to do uh, svc dot print to console. And I'm gonna pass in from inner module slash component. There's really no reason for the inner module to be able to access the service over here, right? Well, guess what? It still works. The outer module got the service, which is no surprise, but it looks like the inner module got the service too. How is it possible? It's possible because of the way services work in Angular. Services are not restricted to the module that they are provided in, that they are declared in. The app module has the test service in the providers. In the case of a component, that component is available only within the module. But in the case of service, or in the case of providers as it's called, Angular creates a common shared space for services. There is this common area that contains all the services in your application that anybody can add to, right? You have 10 different modules. Uh, each of those 10 modules can have its own providers. Those providers are not restricted to that module they become a part of this common shared service space. And any other component that makes a dependency injection, which declares its dependency on any of those services, is gonna get that instance of the service. It doesn't have to be a part of the module that that service was declared as a provider in. All right, does it make sense? So you can have 10 different modules. Each of those modules have a service added as a provider and the uh, modules could be interdependent in various different ways, it really doesn't matter, as long as it somehow makes its way to the app module dependency. So this is the starting point for your application, right? As long as it's somehow imported into the app module, those modules, Angular modules, are applied, and all the services, all the providers in each of those modules become a part of this shared service space. The shared service space is referred to as the injection context, or the dependency injection context. This is the list of services that are available to all the components in your application. This is a reason why when Angular CLI created the service for us, it did not automatically add it to any of the modules. 
it was it could have added it to one of the providers but it did not and the reason for that is it did really did not know where to inject the test i'm sorry where to provide the test service ts in which module to do the provider's declaration you know you might be asking me if the module really doesn't matter and all these services end up in a shared service space anyway why does it even matter which module the service needs gets declared in you can declare it in any module right well in order to understand the nuance there you need to understand lazy loading angular has a feature of lazy loading which affects how this service injection context works you remember i told you there is the shared space this is a shared space when all the modules are loaded like what we are doing over here we have declared the dependency and we're importing it directly but there is another way of importing modules which is lazily loading them all right so that's a different way of doing things and in that scenario you actually end up with multiple such injection contexts and now you have different instances of the service and which instance you get depends on where you've declared the module where you're injecting it it's a little bit complicated and that's the reason why angular cli does not make any assumptions but one of the reasons for things being this tricky is because of this concept of a shared service space it's not restricted to a single module so whenever you are providing services especially in a lazy loaded application you need to be really careful about where you provide it but for the thing that we are doing now we are not doing any lazy loading we are directly importing modules for whatever we are doing right now it really doesn't matter although you should it makes sense to add the service to a fairly reasonable module which is closely associated with what the service is doing for instance if you have service for the view it makes sense to put it in the view module rather than put it outside because it closely ties it with where that module is being used and any other module which imports the module is going to get that provider automatically 